Well, there we go. Hello, hello. Jeez, uh, every time I like tap out, it doesn't want to stay open. No. So, I am going to try to figure that out. <laughs> Hang on one second, guys. I'm going to transition back. How are you doing, Bcat? How are you, Claire? Light? Who's light? Who is light? Who is this that we speak of? Mm. Is this you can go to university today? So you're wonderful, nice. trying to figure out some technical difficulties because it wants to show my background and everything <laughs> when I tab out and I don't want that. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can change that. Just got settled down from coming home from work. I'm glad to hear that. How was work today? Hmm. 
There we go. I think that will do it. Sweet. There we are. Now I fit in my screen again. Everything should be transitioning well. Nice. Here we are. Let's get this going again. It was cold, but he got up got to do mostly indoor stuff so it worked out getting plant tags ready for shipment on wednesday hopefully it doesn't get too much colder so it doesn't stunt the plants or like make them think it's spring when it's not <laughs> you know okay so today we'll we'll be giving spirit tea which is a game i've had a lot of anticipation to try a go and i'm super super excited to try it and let's, I'm going to turn up the volume of it because it's kind of quiet. It should be like a very ambient, ambient sound. There we go. New game. It's not your favorite style, Claire, but maybe you'll like the themes. Oh, that's so quiet. There we go. Welcome. Welcome. What stop will you be getting off at? Ooh, what should I name the town? Should I name the town? I guess we're talking about plants. Maybe I'll name it Flora. Flora. That is actually kind of bring you being loud. Jeez. <laughs> yes, yeah, so name it Flora. Flora, huh? This bus indeed stops there, but you're in for a long ride. You'd best get comfortable. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. How do I. I said D-pad not working. Uh, okay. This is not... Oh, okay, I get it. I have to actually press A on it to, <laughs> to choose what you want. Let's go for brown or red? Should we do brown or red here? Brown or red? Brown or red? What are y'all's thoughts on hair color? Let's, I guess we'll do red. Let's see. Do red for now, see what the options are. Pink top, of course. Brown, black pants? Let's do black. I like red. Okay, we'll keep red. And no cap, because that looks funny to me. Gray. That is a very ill gray. I'm biased since I got mine dyed red. I like red hair, too. I'm not a redhead by any means, but I do like red hair. Uh, flora fantasy author. I feel like fantasy author. There's no choice to change that, so that's interesting. Okay. Are you finished customizing? Yes. Select your birthday. Summer. Oops. Let's 
Mirth. Three. Hang on one second. Enter my name. Well, my name is Siren. Sorry, guys, I'm having a. Honestly, it's been a rough day, and my kids are not getting along right now, so it's making things significantly more difficult. <laughs> right then, take a seat and let's let everybody else on the bus know. Ah, haha. Thanks, B. So if I seem a little off, that'd be why. I'm taking a. I don't know. It's just been a day, so. Ooh. Nifty little bus ride through the city. Taking us straight to Flora Town. Flower Town, I love that. <laughs> no more robots and Cheese Master games. I've been following this game since uh, I think it was announced in Alpha, so about a year. Bought it a couple months ago when it came out. I haven't touched it, but I am like, super excited to try it because it gives very much so like vibes of Spirited Away and cozy vibes like Stardew Valley, and I love both of those things. So I feel like this will be right up my alley. I did play the um, the like test version, I guess you could say, the like demo. And I enjoyed the demo, so I'm looking forward to this one. Thank you so much, Claire. I really appreciate it. It's a very long bus ride. Tomorrow will be better. I just need to be calm and get over today. But with this game and some friends and getting to chat with you guys, I'm sure it'll be much, much better. Ah, so you must be Siren. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I suppose proper instructions are in order. Introductions are in order. My name is Miko. I believe we spoke on the phone the other day. Welcome to Flora. It's really quite lovely here. I do hope you'll enjoy the time you spend here. We received all of your luggage earlier today, and I had my husband Quill help me get it. Both safely to your house and you'll be staying in. I'm afraid I may have sullied his first impression of you, as I had him carry the heavy things. Oh! Speaking of, let me quit yapping and show you to your home. This way, please. The walking animation's so funny, I like it. It's a short jaunt to the new home. Well, what do you think? Uh, this is it. Actually, I think it looks nice. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. This is my home. Just remember the red roof if you ever need to. See either myself or Quill. Red roof for Quill or this lady. <laughs> Miko. Got some wheelies. Here is my husband's bicycle shop. You might find it convenient to have a bicycle if you ever want to explore the nearby area. At the very least, a little exercise does the body some good. Oh, a karaoke bar. As you can see, this is pretty much in the extent of our downtown here in Flora. I'm sure it's nothing like the big city you've just come from, but we've got everything you need. There's a restaurant if you're ever tired of cooking at home, a karaoke bar, a chicken restaurant, a coffee shop, and a Kenzo, and Kenzo runs a convenience store, a little ways southeast of here. I could talk your ear off about all the residents here and how kind they all are, but Quill did warn me that you've had a long trip and to, ahem, keep your yapping to a minimum and let the newbie sleep. So, let's get you home. Her um, portrait reminds me of um, one of the Golden Girls, if, if any of you are familiar with the show The Golden Girls, probably some of my American friends, but um, yeah, she reminds me of one of the Golden Girls. I think it's pretty great. And here we are. I hope it meets all of your needs. The picture I posted online were taken just last week, so it should be all accurate. Oh, and one thing you might find different is 
they tend to leave our doors unlocked. We don't usually have any crime here, though there have been some strange occurrences lately and, well, there aren't that many of us living in town. Living like alive? That's kind of, that's kind of interesting. You see it? Okay. Okay, I'm glad because it's not Betty White, but it's one of the other ladies. I can't remember their names, but she does. She's giving me a Golden Girl vibe. Enjoy this slice of the countryside. Feel free to visit your neighbors wherever and whenever you please. You know, they'll be happy to get to know you. Then I'll leave you to it. I set you, I set you up a futon this morning and you should be having everything you need. I saw you have an old teapot in the cupboard. Maybe you can try out some of the locally grown tea. Okay, I'm leaving now because I can tell you've had, I've nattered on for far too long. <laughs> Good night. Looks like a cute little house. Actually, it's not quite. It's pr quite large, considering. Do you want to sleep? Yes. Yes, I do. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hi, Amelia. Oh, you must be Siren. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Don't look so surprised. Miko has already told me all about you. She's not really one to keep gossip to herself. Anyway, I'm Amelia, the other town granny. It's a pleasure to meet you. I came by because I wanted to welcome you to our little town and drop off something special. First off, in case you're hungry. Onigiri, so nice. You've received a rice ball. That rice ball is from an old family recipe called Rice Ball from the convenience store. <laughs> That's cute. You can eat that delicious morsel by pressing B, and then it's great for restoring stamina. But why don't you just sit down that at that table? There's at that table for now because I've got something else for you. Ooh, interesting. Wonderful. Now this here is from Miko. You got the mixed vegetables and egg and rice. She forgot to give it to you last night, so you don't have to eat it now if you don't want to. Why don't you throw it in that backpack of yours? Hey, Muscle, how are you? How are you? How are you? But wait, that's not all. I saw someone say that on the television. I was just trying to be flashy. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate your support. I brought you a brochure of activities that you can drop around to Floritown too, which I'm sure you'll find useful. I sure hope so. Oh my gosh, the map dances. Ah, <laughs> oh my God, that's great. That really cracks me up. Okay, okay, map dances. And with all of that, you should be good to go. But, um, you're a writer, correct? It doesn't look like you've got a place to sit and work. Hmm. Welcome in, welcome in. I wonder if you might have something in storage over at the shop. It's my daughter's store, but I help out every now and then. Why don't we head over there and see if she's got a de an old desk that you could use? But what about my onigiri? All of this is just so exciting. You'll understand when you're on an old fart like me. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> the shop is nice and close to your home. Just a little walk away is east and then you'll be there. Let's go. A couple more things. You can open and close your backpack by pressing Y and you can take things out of your backpack by pressing A. Cool. You can get around quicker by holding B to run. It uses up stamina, which can be recovered by sleeping or eating. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you so much, Kai, for coming in and supporting me. I appreciate you. Oh, I like your neat emotes, Kai. I don't know if you can hear me, but I like them. If they're new, I don't think I've seen them. New to me. Not this way. Head to the shop with... Oh, Amelia's head, so let's see. Oh, nope. With Amelia's head above it. 
there's the other granny. Shops are up north. No. Can I... Can I put it back? I guess not. I guess I'm just gonna hold this bowl of food. Okay. It says it's east of your house. Northeast. I was going northeast. Head to the shop with the east of your house. Alright, well. We'll find it. We'll get there, maybe. Maybe one day. Okay, here we are. I literally walked right past it. I think I hear a song busy upstairs. Actually, I was supposed to be watching over the shop when I snuck over to your place, but, uh... Ho -ho -ho. Let me ask her if she's got a desk that you could use. Who is that? Hey, you must be the newbie in town. I'm Moby. I run the coffee shop a little northwest of here. Feel free to stop by if your caffeine-fueled needs. Oh, well. Likely I'll need. <laughs> Siren, it seems like we've got a desk here for you. Oh, Moby, could you help Siren and I move a desk? Bring it over to there, please. Sure thing. Nice. Thank you, dear. I'd better get back to running the shop, Siren. And don't worry about the desk. I'm just happy to see you use... Be see it be of use to someone. That's so nice. Phew, what a workout. Where did you want this thing? Unless, of course, you like it sitting in the middle of your room. <laughs> Move it to wherever you want using your house organizer. It's over there between your front doors. Hmm, that's cool. So we choose the desk. Move. That's simple enough. I guess I will put it right here. Perfect. All set? Perf. <gasps> the onigiri. <laughs> A floating onigiri. <laughs> D did you see that? Are you alright? <laughs> see what? Hmm. Seriously? I thought you were looking straight at it. Listen, Siren, I'm not sure if anyone has mentioned this to you, but Flora, it feels kind of haunted at times. Like Sujin was telling me the other day that he's been hearing some strange noises outside of her boat at night. And in my own apartment, I've got these like weird plants growing out of my bathtub. You're supposed to clean it, you know, occasionally. Plants? That's very strange. Or, hmm, doesn't sound that supernatural to me. Should I play into his delusion? <laughs> Are we gaslighting him? Are we gaslighting this poor man? C come on now. I know that. Jeez. My, my house isn't that bad. Anyway, your food was just floating and then disappeared in front of us. It's like this place is... Ah! Wait, don't open it. He might be trying to bring its friends. He's like heavy breathing, fallen on the floor. That's hilarious. Or wait. It, it could be trying to get out. Quickly, open it! Sorry to intrude, my name is Young. I run the temple at the southern tip of town. His heavy breathing is still cracking me up. I wanted to be one of the first to welcome you to Flora. I hope that... Moby... Are you unwell? Y young? Oh, so good to see you, buddy. All is well over here. <laughs> How very curious. Anyway, Siren, you likely haven't had much a chance to explore the town and meet everyone yet, just yet, have you? No, not yet. I just had a word with my associate, Jan, this morning, and she's agreed to help you find and meet all of the locals.
Jan? You mean... She's a wonderful companion, and I think the two of you will get along swimmingly. She's waiting for you just outside, wherever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Uh, okay then, I guess I'll leave you to it, Siren. Be careful not to let Jan bite you. <laughs> Don't worry about that, she's very kind. Enjoy your day. I will stop by later to pick up Jen once you've familiarized yourself with the rest of the town. She doesn't like to be away from her brother Maru for long. Seems suspicious. We save when you sleep. Okay. Introduce yourself to everyone in town. You can ask Jan to help you if you're having trouble finding someone. Oh, Jan is a dog! Pet. Oh, you can pet the dog. Games are infinitely better when you can pet, you know, pet the pets. Pet the pets. Doggos and cats. Makes it so much nicer. Ooh, taco. Taco yaki. Yes, dog. So cute. I wonder if I can come back here. Hmm. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Julian. What's it to you? Oh, right. welcome. Welcome to town. Can I? Nope. Let's see. Are you new around here? I don't think I've met you before. Name's Jillian. Pleased to meet you. Cool. Two down. This is the bathroom. Nope. Store. Actually, it is the bathroom. Hey, person. Oh, uh, you must be the new person in town. I'm, uh, Sora. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Sora friends. Ooh. Karaoke bar. Oh, I like that you can see the rooms. That's cool. Super cool. <gasps> is this an arcade? Oh, it is a game, like a claw machine. Oh, it's a capsule machine. It's a gotcha. That's neat. Super neat. So you'll probably be able to um, purchase some some type of collectible. Ah, so you're the Miko one Miko was talking about. Hmm. Welcome, you know, and all that. Why is everyone so cranky? Don't like it. Not everyone, but more than a few. Oh, who is this beautiful beast I see? I'm Tara. I live in the pen pension down by the southeastern beach. Oh, hey, I'm Sujin. You must be the newbie in town. Nice to meet you, Sujin. Let's see. 27 people? Okay. Oh, houseboat. Mm. Houseboats are a thing. Yeah. These games. Yeah. It's frozen. No, it just hasn't loaded up. I see it. These office buildings? No, these are apartments, it looks like. Are there more? It looks like there's much more. Interesting. So many apartments and so few people actually in the apartments. New to town, huh? I'm Kenzo. I work at the only convenience store in town. I'm sure you'll see... I'll see you during your snack runs. Nice to meet you, Kenzo. Hey, you just moved into that place by the water. Oh, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you, Eric. I wonder if meeting the pets counts as meeting part of the townspeople.
Ooh, look at this rundown old home. Oh, is it a... It's a blacksmith's place. That's cool. I'm just helping myself into their house. Oh, here we go. You must be Siren. I'm Faye, the local carpenter, blacksmith, and all-rounder. <laughs> Ooh, a daughter -ma. Daughter Maka, pretty much. It's what the Pokemon was modeled after. Oh. Ooh, is this a school, it looks like? Yeah, oh, oh, that's a wall. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're a new face in town. Hey, I'm Bruce. Nice to meet you. Meet all these kids. Do they count? <gasps> Do they not count? I don't think so. Hi, I don't think we've met. I'm Kim. Nice to meet you. Can we talk? Nope, can't talk to the children. They are taught to not talk to strangers. Good children, good children. Hi, you must be Siren. I'm the whole... The whole town is talking about you. Oh, <laughs> I'm Yumi. Great. <laughs> Everyone's talking about us. Got to figure out the mysteries of this town. And figure out where all the people are that we have to meet. Hopefully not in the bathroom. We, we're internet famous. Not really. <laughs> hmm... Oops. Ooh, uh, oh. Oh, I can take the crab. The hermit crab. How cool. What do I... What do... Okay. That's great. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... We can take the crab. Peak gameplay, right? Peak gameplay. Very much hard. Ooh. Speaking of gameplay, there's an N64. Oh! <gasps> Okay, that's great. And they're playing Mario 64. That, that's pretty awesome. They saw an opportunity, took it, and I'm very pleased. <laughs> very pleased. Where are the people? It's all these crabs. All these crabs, but no people. And a bus. Ooh, it's a vending machine. Up to. I feel like this is where the temple is. Looks very temple esque. Oh, no, that's a bonsai. Door locked. Okay. Might have to use our dog friend to help find more of the villagers. Is it fruit? Nope. Can pick up the crabs, but not the fruit. Ooh, it's locked. So that means we could come back later and see what's in there. But I guess I don't think we're supposed to be here just yet. Not just yet. Ooh. Thank you, Claire, for adopting your daily crabby. Enjoy them, enjoy them, either for lunch or as a pet. Your choice, your choice. Thank you, Bee Cat, for adopting your daily crabby. Had your wife? Had your fish? Cause I'm coming for him. Fishy jingle. 
<laughs> that response deemed me jail. Ready for jail. I think... <laughs> Jeez. Wait, I'm gonna ask the dog where the Tom's folk are. Let's find Clarence. Filling in for Yuki, using all my redeems. <laughs> That's okay. That's what they're for. I was just here. Show me. Show me, dog friend. Where's Clarence? Is Clarence a ghost? Why is he freaking out? Is it in here? Oh, there are some people here. Okay, okay. Hmm. You're the new face in town, huh? My name's Ling. Be seeing you around. I think Clarence is down here. The dog knows things that we don't know. Hey, dude. You must be the new resident in town. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. My name's Clarence. Th thanks, dude, dog. <laughs> Told me after I'd found them. Oh, we have to go outside. Come on, Jan. Jan, Jan, we need to go find some other people. Where's Gale? Where's Gale, boy? Where's Gale? Come on, Scooby. We're on the case. <laughs> I'm gonna nickname Jan Scooby. From henceforth, this is Scooby. Thanks, Scoob. I swear I was in here. And I didn't see a single person. Oh, it goes further down. That makes sense. Hey, I'm Gail. I work at the karaoke bar in town. Great. I guess I really have to go in, like, all the way in these houses. I feel like that's kind of intrusive. <laughs> I need to come all the way in your house to make sure that you're still living in it. Oh, they've got a Gundam poster! The house in the middle. That's great. Row, row, raggy. <laughs> Next time on the episode of Breaking and Entering, we, we have trying to... F oh, they've got a fish tank. Cool. Trying to find our villagers, whether they want to be found or not. I don't, I don't even know these people. Okay. Who are we missing? Oh, we gotta meet Maru, the dog Maru. Are they in the shop? Who's this? Song, you must be the new kid in town. I'm Song, and this is my little Mr. Momo. Cute. Who is this free spirit wandering into our little town? Siren? It is. Then, uh, I'll be Lee. Okay, you be Lee. Lee. You be, you be you. Let's see if we can find anyone else in here. Nope. Nope. Okay. I think we just need to find Maru? I know Maru's on the list next. I- my food! <laughs> I dropped my food on the floor. Why can't it go back in my bag? I can drop it on the floor, but not on my bag. Wait, did that work? Uh... Yeah, that worked. Okay. That was confusing. <laughs> that is a skill issue. It didn't... Hey, instructions were not clear. Five second rule. We'll add five minute because I don't know how long I left it there. <laughs> Looks like we're just missing... Maru and Radish the cat. Oh, and Tifa, Toby. Tifa, Toby, Maru, and Radish. Looks like those are the people that we need. So beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, 
Are they... <laughs> Show me Maru, because I clearly... No, you're not Maru. Are they in class? There's Toby. Bork, bork. I'm just going to do a once over of the school again to make sure that I got everything. I feel like I've seen these people before. Let's. Yep. Yep, I got those too. I think the ones that we're missing are farmers, so we, they should be outside. I'll check the map. Nope. Dang it. There we go. I think the farmers are further down. Let us see. I think they're actually just over here south of our house. Oh, hey. <laughs> nice. Nope, wrong way. Oh, there's the dog. We need to meet the dog. That's Maru. Down here. Up and there is the farmers. What? What? What was that? The bug? Bork, nice to meet you. Bork, Bork, that bug was pretty sus. Hi, so you're a new in you're the new face in town, huh? I'm Tifa. I take care of the tea fields here in town. Come see me tomorrow and I'll give you a free sample. That's nice. So nice. Where's my doggo friend? I gotta find a cat. Gotta find a cat. Shrine? Ooh. These look like oh, offerings? What? I think these might be offerings for the shrine. Very Stardew esque. Stardew esque. We need a basketball, a pumpkin, a pufferfish, a pizza, a lantern, honeycomb. Uh, that's, that's going to be a wild guess. A ghost, a seal, um, and a globe. Those are what the spirits want, I think. Oh, a little yakitori. And where's the shrine cat? Shrine cats are usually around here. Well, if I go inside, Mara will show back up so I can, yeah, ask him where the two remaining townsfolk are, because there's a lot more than there were in the demo. Where is Radish? And wheelies, okay. She <laughs> radish blends in with the cart with the floor. Okay, I did not see him when we were here. Look at you! You both have had a long day. I hope your first impression of our little town has been a good one. Oh, that reminds me. Tifa wanted me to tell you to pick up some tea leaves from her tomorrow. Anyway, stop by the temple anytime. Jan, Maru, and I all enjoy visitors, and our doors are always open. Come on, Jan. Good night, Siren. Now, I would eat that onigiri. If a ghost hadn't eaten it first. See, Tifa. See, Tifa. Oh, I like how the clock is a bento box. That's really cute. Let's go find Tifa. I believe she's just... Uh, yeah, just, well. 
southeast? Yeah, southeast. Just down this way. Get some tea. See our doggo friends. Wait, Maru, I want to pet you. Maru. Pets. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. You know, Siren, sometimes, sometimes it's okay to forget what you were going to say. <laughs> oh, poetic. I'm here for some tea. Ah, there you are, as promised. Here. You got the fresh tea leaves. Many objects can be picked up and carried and dropped using A. When facing an object, pick to pick it up, press A and then put it down. Press A again. If an item can be eaten, used, or has some sort of function, you can perform in this action by pressing B. Okay. Remind remember if you pick up if you have space in your backpack, you can store acquired objects by pressing X. Can we take a tea? Hmm. Wonder if we can make said tea. Let's go check it out. Cause I think there was a pot, if I remember properly, in the house. Place the tea leaves in the teapot by facing the teapot and interacting with it while holding the leaves. Okay. Yeah, okay, I do have them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you want to add tea leaves to the teapot? Yes. You've added tea leaves and the water to the teapot. It seems to be heating up supernaturally. Hmm. Do you want to drink the spirit tea? Yes. Let's see. You drank the spirit tea. Oh? Stupid, feeble creatures. So selfish. Leaving me. Yeah. Wait. Can you see me? You can't. Can you? Th this is... I'm supposed to... Be guiding? How long was I? I can't believe that I became lost. May? You'd never let me live this one down. Wait. Who the heck are you? Who are you? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got problems. We? Yes, we. You live here now, don't you? This town is crawling with troublemaking spirits. They're what they're what's called lost, because humans have stopped worshipping, leaving offerings, or even thinking about them anymore. Fortunately, I'm not as weak as those other fools. Though I nearly lost my control. Anyway, you can call me Wanyan. Wanyan. And since you appear to be somewhat spiritual, you're going to help me get things under control around here. It is a cat. His name is Wan Yan. <laughs> Wan Yan. What's with that look? You didn't come here to mess with the spirits? I get it. You mortals live short lives, and I fill each day with things that bring you happiness. The truth is, I... No. The, yeah, the cat is savage. <laughs> Gotta love Wan Yan's bluntness. We need you. Damn it, are you really going to make me beg? There are already so many lost spirits that don't even remember who they were. They need your help and you need to be a hero to them. You mortals are like being called heroes, don't you? How do you reply? Hm, not interested, cat. I don't think you quite understanding. <laughs> I asked nicely, but you, I could make your life very unpleasant. Oh, look at those spirits. He's threatening us with evil spirits. This cat is savage. Now that you're all on board, I think I have a plan that just might work. But first, you need to see something. Let's head up the mountain, look for the stairs to the eastern part of the town. All right, all right. 
Wan Yan didn't give us much choice, did he? It was either help or uh, live your life full of evil spirits. Evil, frustrated, forgotten spirits. Oh, is this... I like the ambient crickets and um, I think there were cicadas. It was nice. Oh, and she's working. You can hear her working. That's cool. I think I think I missed it. Wait, wait. Yeah, I didn't quite get there yet. Spirit or die. Take your pick. <laughs> Help the spirits or become one. Your choice. Good luck. Back at the spirit temple. This is, well, used to be a bathhouse for the spirits. They would come from far and wide to enjoy the purifying waters of the mountain. It looks like it's seen better days. Spiritual people such as yourself used to look after the spirits and run the bathhouse. But it's not all cl for charity. The spirits would in return offer some of the wealth they receive from their shrines throughout the world. But as you can see, the bathhouse has been abandoned, and the last bathhouse keeper was a spunky girl. In fact, she used to live in the house that you've just moved into, though I don't know how long she's been gone. The spirits need you to become the next keeper of the bathhouse. Otherwise, they'll become more and more lost and cause more and more havoc to the people of Flora. Why me? Don't kid yourself. I didn't have to. It didn't have to be you. Anyone with a lick of spirituality would have done. But you did come and you can help everyone. Spirits and people alike. So you're in then. Good. Glad we're all in the same boat then. So clearly no face will arrive and throw coins everywhere. <laughs> he better, or I'm gonna rage. Then if we're meaning to get this place up and running, we'll need to first open her up. If I'm not mistaken, I left the key with a spirit who has a fondness for sweets. Find the spirit and we'll find the key. Though whether or not you'll be able to see the spirit is questionable, but we can deal with that later. For now, let's head to the place with lots of sweet foods. We need to go to the convenience store. The shop, the only shop in the town, as he duly told me. Because that's where I assume we'd find a variety of sweets. Love how the map dances. <laughs> it's like the map is enchanted with spirits too. Hmm. This place looks promising. Try using your spirit vision now. Spirit vision? Spirit vision? Right, bro. Spirit, spirit vision? What? What's going on? I think the game might have... Might be frozen. Frozen? Rut row. Look with your special eyes. Wait. So that wasn't the button they told me to press. But we got it. Hey, not bad, mortal. You seem to be figuring it out pretty quickly. Yeah. Now then, let's find the spirit. I mean, I'm pretty sure these are them. 
No, no, that one. I haven't tried that one with that caramel yet. Oh, that one is so good. Hey, check this one out, mortal. They almost look alike. They're... Like they're watching? I knew I'd be able to find you if I thought my if I thought with my stomach like you always do. It's the fuzz. Let's cheese it. <laughs> what in the world? Don't just stand there. Catch them. I'll use that little power I have left to help. You keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. Um, okay. Normally, spirit vision causes your spirit gauge on the right to gradually decrease. However, in this case, of one Yan is helping you by preventing the gauge from develop from depleting. Okay. Uh, under normal circumstances, drinking spirit tea made by spirit in the old teapot and sleeping will apprentice the spirit gauge. Okay. Let's go, Wan Yan. Can't run away from the fuzz. I know I was pushing B. Almost there. Dang it. Dang. Look at him go. Shit. Gotta cut him off. Let's cut him off. Let's cut him off. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, what? I thought I... Do I have to push a button? Dang. That was a missed opportunity. I should have tried. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just stole the whole ba basket of tea. Okay, okay. <gasps> what is this? Are they slowing down? I, I totally can reach them. What is going on? What is going on? Do I just have to wear them out? Okay, it looks like they're slowing down because they're tired. What are you doing, you lunatics? We just want to talk to you. Yeah, gotta chase him. You better hope we don't catch you now. You've gotten ticked me off. Yeah. Fun time's over, clown car. Revert back. Now! Poof. Hey, Yuki. The fuzz. <laughs> the spirit police. How are you doing, Yuki? What the hell is wrong with you two? What? Who? One, one yet? And which one of you peanut brains has the key to the bathhouse? Key, the key. I remember one yen and a key? One of you better start talking. It is a really cute game so far, I'm, I'm liking it. I have the key! I remember now! I'm called... Feather... Father Og. Fa yeah, Father Og. And uh, I was known as... Arum. Father Og and Arum. Wanyan. Oh, I'm so sorry I failed you, my lord. It seems I forgot who I was. But I never forgot your task for me. I have kept the key safe all of these years. Here. You must be the new keeper of the baths. Bum, ba, da, da. You got the bathhouse key. What? Why were you holding it up like that? Can't everyone act normal for just like one moment, please? Ugh, as for you two, this mortal here named Siren, right? That's correct. Has agreed to get the bathhouse up and running again. I expect to see you and your kind there regularly. Yes, of course, Wan Yan, sir. We'll be there. With friends. With friends. With friends, of course. And they fade into the distance. Are you kind? Am I kind? Maybe. <laughs> your kind. So, like, um, the spirit kind. That's what they meant. Gods be damned, those fools have us the runaround, didn't they? Yeah. Well, now that you're ready, let's head to the bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. All right, all right. Let's go check her out. Wait, who are you? Oh, yeah, that's Julian. Oh, 
Bum, 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 bum. How was your night, Yuki? Getting some things get taken care of for your night off? Because I, I didn't see you streaming today. Either you're streaming later or it's one of your days off. Ooh, she's... She's seen better days. <laughs> Much better days. Oh, uh, yes. This brings back memories. The smell of a dusty, nasty old bathhouse. That's great. <laughs> you have no idea how important this place is, Siren. The spirits around here are in bad shape. You probably can't see most of them just yet. But believe me, when I say they're up to no good... And unfortunately, it's the townsfolk who are suffering for it. Right. So with those happy thoughts in mind, how about we start doing something good about it? Oh, you streamed for about three hours or so. And it went not... Kekudori? The game we were going to play didn't work. It was a collaboration. Oh no! What game were you wanting to play? First things first, follow me. Wah, 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 wah. Let's follow one yen. Okay, boss. Yeah, him, him. Well, to the bathhouse, it was, it was built centuries ago and has served as a sanctuary for spirits ever since. One thing you've probably noticed is that you can see me without even using your spirit vision. It is not entirely known why spirits can be seen here, but it likely has something to do with the very rare tree that has been planted in the courtyard of the structure. Over time, the tree has grown to enormous proportions and has exerted its special properties upon the building. Anyway, enough of the history lesson. You're here to keep the bathhouse running smoothly and to guide your, essentially our customers, to their spots in the baths. Spirits will pay you depending on their bathing experience, which can be affected by many things, including, well, follow me. Kekidori is according to plan. Gotcha. Cry of fear. We couldn't play together weird as heck game. Apparently we needed each other's IPs to get together? That is really weird. It almost, that seems very sus. <laughs> Including water temperature? This is the boiler for all the baths in the room. Above us, you see this... You keep this thing burning and the baths can stay hot. Got it. Your source of fuel is the, ba the is this baby right here. This chunk of wood? This chunk of tree root is your fuel. Hold down A when facing it to saw it and cut it. Oh, almost there. And voila! The tree magically regrows its root. I'm sure their tree doesn't like you doing this, but bathhouse keepers have cut the same root over and over for centuries. And this is just a hunch, but it seems like the tree is doing just fine. Yeah! Any one thing to note is that this root is this root's ability to regrow depends on the spiritual presence of the whole area. What I mean is, the more spirits we track down and smack sense into, the more healthy this tree spirit becomes. Which means the roots are more, which means more roots regrowing and therefore more moolags. Moolags? Moolags. What was the game called? If you don't see the root regrowing, then you'll probably have to wait. I'm sure it'll be regrowing again after you have slept or something. Anyway, throw the log and throw the log in one more into the boiler and then come to meet me upstairs. Okay, got it. So cut the root, put it in the boiler, makes the water hot. Oh, one more log. Okay. Then once the water's hot, the spirits will come. We get money based off of the happiness of the spirits when they're here. Oh, it's called cry of fear. I thought you were saying you were crying of fear. It sounds scary. <laughs> Good work. I'm glad to see you can follow simple instructions with your work ethic and my brains. We have this place running in no time. 
and making lots and lots of mulags. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get calcifer in there. Yeah, right? We've got the special logs. We just now need special fire. <laughs> what? The I thought you don't like spooky things. The temper temperature dropping when you better head to the boiler and load it up some more. So when it, the piggy's nose isn't burning fire, he cries a fear from FPS. FPS games can be hard. <laughs> Very hard. Good. Now it's almost time to ring the bell and let the spirits in. But first, we need to make sure there is enough clean towels to let the spirits use. Spirits need towels. Spirits need... Of course they need towels. What kind of shady bathhouse do you think we're planning on running here? Come on. Let's see if there are any towels still. And if we are lucky, then they won't be too moldy. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Wait, he went this way, I think. One yen. Here's one. Now is not the time for that. Well, I thought you wanted towels. Check the towel box for the dirty used towels. I literally was just doing that, you brain dead cat. When spirits are done with their baths, they will leave their towels in the box on their way out the door. That's so kind of them. As you might have guessed, you can use A while facing the towel box. Yada yada. Got it. Wow. That is a lot of towels. Pew pew. There are some towels left. Let's go get them cleaned up this way. Look at this fat stack of towels, man. <laughs> we got a lot of laundry in our in our future. Speaking of, have any of you guys seen people playing that, like, uh, convenience store simulator? It can't just be me who thinks that's ridiculous, right? I feel like if I want to play a game, I would not want to play the convenience store simulator. Where do I put this cat? Welcome to the washing, er, I mean kitchen. I suppose we never did come up with a name for it. Let's just call it the prep room. As you can see, things here have also become quite overgrown and unusable. Fortunately, that's not the case for the wash tub and heating vents. Throw the used towels into the wash tub and give them a good scrub and by holding them down with a keep washing until you've cleaned all, at least four of them. Okay, boss cat, you got it. Throw a dirty towel on the cat, leaning tower of towels for real. Excellent! Now take those wet towels to the start and start hanging them over by the heating vent. Remember, towels will only dry if you've got warm air flowing through the vent. If you're not burning any wood in the boiler, then the towels will, won't dry. Yet another reason to keep the boiler topped up. Thanks, kitty cat. The towels will take some time to dry, so it's important to be as efficient as possible. There are always things you can be doing while running the bathhouse. Keeping the boiler hot and cleaning the towels, cooking for spirits when you've hired someone to clean this up, er this area up, scrubbing spirits with a brush, so we are essentially over-glorified bathing attendants, <laughs> will affect these spirits' happiness and therefore affect how many moolags they will give you in return. Piece of cake, right? Right. Right. Oh, come on. A little hard work is good for you. It builds character. Right. Let's bring those dry towels to the bathhouse entrance. I mean, you bring the towels. You okay? What's up? Guess I'll wash some of the rest of these and have them drying while we take the others in. Take this fat stack of towels to the entrance. Oh. Are they dry? No visible mold? Perfect! Drop them over there on this green bamboo mat. Ew, it's dirty! Literally just wash those towels, cat. 
When spirits visit the bathhouse, they will automatically grab a towel from this bamboo towel zone. Make sure you do your best to always have some fresh towels for the spirits to use. All right, I think we're ready. Ring this bell to open the bathhouse for the spirits. Ring, ring. Let's give it a go. Right on time. You've got your first guest. Now take the new towel from them and lead them to our only bath that is currently ready. One thing to keep in mind if you don't if you ever don't want to see a particular spirit. Okay. Don't want to see a particular spirit, bring the towel back to the entrance. The spirit will leave on their own. I don't recommend doing this often though. Not if you want to make moo lags anyway. But there will be times when the spirit is too large for your baths or it might ruin the bathing experience you've created. In those cases, they give them give them the boot and they'll come back later. Anyway, grab the spirit's towel and seat them in the bath. Chop chop. Okay, so we seat them in bath. And that's just about all there is to it. You can tell a spirit's mood when standing near them. A happy face means their happiness is improving, whereas an angry face means their happiness is on the decline. That's self-explanatory. Once you've seated a spirit in a bath, they're in there for the duration of their stay. This means you can place a spirit next to a spirit. Huh. If you place a spirit next to a spirit they dislike, then you won't be making as much money as you could be. You could remedy this by making an extra effort to improve that spirit's mood by back scrubbing, giving food, adding elixirs to the water, or if you're busier, you can just accept a blunder and move on. The most important thing to know about running a spirit bathhouse is this. Spirits all belong to a particular season. Spirits enjoy sitting near spirits from the season after theirs. Okay. On the other hand, spirits dislike sitting next to spirits whose season is opposite their own. How do you know what season they're in? Confused? Ugh. You would be. Must have been a peanut for a brain. Rude! This cat's got jokes, man. He's got some jokes and an attitude. Okay. How about this? If I recall correctly, the two spirits we chased around were spring and fall spirits, so you probably don't want to sit them near each other. Figuring out which spirits belong to which season will make it a bit of a trial and error, or wait. You might be able to consult the spirit information tomes, but those have likely been buried from centuries. There's one thing, there's one other thing, yeah, I should mention. Come here for a second. I noticed that when, hmm, when the previous bathhouse keeper was taking care of the place, the ancient tree that grew out of the courtyard in this bathhouse seems to react how pleased the spirits were when they have after their bath. I've seen this tree root grow as more and more spirits leave after the fulfilling bath. It's possible something important might happen to the root. Happen when the root grows to a certain length? Yeah, I don't know. I'm usually more focused on how much money the spirits leave us. Okay, I'll leave the rest to figure it out. Things on your own end. Ring the bell again if you want to close the bathhouse. Spirits will stay. Spirits will still pay you, but not as much as if you didn't let them enjoy the whole bath undisturbed. If you're tired, you can always go home and sleep, which saves a game. Whatever that means. Oh, and don't forget to collect your earnings from the money pot by the front of the entrance when you're done working. So is there like, I need to know spirits. Maybe you can find out, oh, Aram. What season they're in. Father Og, hmm. It doesn't say what season they're in. Collections, friendships, options, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna seed them all together. His cheeks. The cheeks be cheekin'. 
Cheeks be cheekin'. So I guess if they're from the same season, it's okay to put them by each other, because that wasn't mentioned, so... I'm going to assume that that's correct. Maybe not a safe assumption, but an assumption none the least. Oh, that was a different spirit. Okay. Oh, they don't have a towel. Crap! Towel, towel, towel. <laughs> that went really fast. Let me take your towel, dude. Okay, let's see what happens when we put them, him next to him. Uh, don't like it. Okay. Noted. So they must be opposite seasons. Enter name. I don't want to name it. Um, duck. We're gonna name it duck. Duck. Use the name Duck? Yes. In the spring and summer, ducks will visit the bathhouse, providing they have a nest. Ducks can keep help you deal with the algae and sometimes grow in the waters of the baths. Gross! Simply place a duck in the bath and the duck will eat the algae growing in that particular bath. Each duck can only be placed in one bath per day, so try to feed them efficiently. Alternatively, you can use the purifying elixirs to clean algae from the baths and prevent it from forming a little while. Huh. Cat just falling like an overbearing manager, pretty much. Wanyan is, is the epitome of a Karen manager. Even when I try to run away. Okay. Guess place you there. Oh, no towels. Well, they're enjoying their bath. I uh, oh, the bath is gonna be cold soon. Jeez. Okay. Uh, let it regrow. I'll toss another log on the fire. Cut, 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 cut. He's just... Wanyan is an overbearing... Overbearing manager. Manager. So if they are unhappy, we can do back scrubs. Let's see if we can do back scrubs. Can we not back scrub? I don't know. I guess not. Um, Let's go see if any of the towels are ready. Yay! Towels are ready. To shove more spirits into the bath. <laughs> Running out of space. Looks like they're happier now that it's warm. I mean, I'd be happier too. Huh. None of them want to get out? There we go. I don't know how to, like, scrub them. I guess we don't have the whatever scrub brush is necessary. Go wash. Did it really already go out? I'm just gonna drop that towel. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. I guess we'll, since we're here, we'll cut one limb down. Stoke it into the fire. Wanyan, get out the way or I'm going to throw you into the fire, cat. Other towels. Gotta be zooming. Clean these towels. Looks like they're all content, so that's nice. 
So far, so good. Towels drying. Sweet. The algae thing is kind of interesting, though. <laughs> I think it's neat how when they pass through this, like, area, they become the gray spirits. No, I, maybe gray isn't the right word. Oops. But they become, like, the difficult-to-see spirits, which is kind of interesting. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Get these towels out in the tub. Oops. There we go. Now we've got more towels. Let's see these guys. Hi. Come with me. Sit here. We're hustling. Getting these very weary spirits into the tub. Might be time for some more wood. Oh no, I just didn't wait long enough. That's fine. Might as well cut some more since we're down here. Dirty towels. I think we're going to need more towels. I don't know if that's a thing, though. The quick turnaround time for dirty towels. Oh, oh, almost put them in the wrong place. They all look like happy little buns. Great, thanks. Wash them towels. I think we're doing good managing our bathhouse. What do you think? Could be better? I think we're doing pretty good. Considering. <laughs> No angry customers yet. No one's left. No one's asking for managers. Uh, place you here. Oof. Run, run, run. I think that's all the towels that we have room for. I wonder if that shows... I think that shows the amount that's left. Oh, and it hasn't regrown? Huh. Interesting. So I, it's based off spirit happiness, right? I thought they were happy. I can't <laughs> get any more in. Well, I guess two more, technically. Not a bad first day. Hmm. It's quite full. The music is really calming, isn't it? I feel like Yuki would like it. It's nice, chill, calming music. Nope, no more bath towels to be washed. Time to get out, y'all. Time to get out. I need more towels.
Money, money, money. Money. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Everyone wanted to leave at the same time. Okay. Let's go wash these towels, and then probably cut another log to make sure everything's still stoked. Oh, it looks like it's getting darker, so maybe that's towards the end of the day. Did you notice the screen getting dimmer? Are you going to be able to play with us, B-Cat, for, uh, on Thursday? Play some Monster Hunter? Some Monster Hunter? If you're free, let us know. This Thursday. Oh. Day is almost over. I think. I think that's what that gong was for. Yeah, it's going to be in the evening time. In the evening. Do you have class that night? adjacent to each other so they don't like it so they must be opposite seasons then free all day but you have night class oh okay well that's all right we'll uh, maybe have to play I may be able to play with you in the morning before you go to class actually I need to know what time zone you're in <laughs> DM me on discord because that'll make the big difference because I need to know how many hours you are better behind me. <gasps> oh, is it over? My controller died? Dang it! Oh, my controller died. Right in the middle of the game. Oops. So I am an hour ahead of you. So you're on CST. Okay. So you, this would be a bad time for you then. What? What? Oh my gosh, this cat. This cat is so sassy. Need to go stoke the fires. So, oh, no. I can't cut anymore. Okay, then we have, like have to close shop then. Must close shop. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, cat. Oh, here's the bell. The yes. So I can't stoke any more logs. Cool. So I think I can like. Can I? There we go. Ugh. Keep dropping them. I can put them to wash.
If it'll allow me to, that is. Got all these dirty towels. Take some skills being able to balance all those towels. So it would now be a bad time for you? Like if, we, say you were in class right now, you have night classes around this time. Okay, yeah. Then maybe we could play a little bit earlier in the day. What time do your classes start? Hmm, guess I can't cut any more. The ghost leave and see what tomorrow has in store for us. I think that was a pretty fruitful first night. Oh, I to I totally missed the opportunity to give her brown hair and name her Chihiro because it's a game about bathhouses and spirits. I can't believe, as someone whose like favorite movie is Spirited Away, that I didn't think of that. That goes and tells you the off day I've had. Oh, God's finally li a lick free of time, huh? What do you want? Uh, how about some fishing? Do you even know how to fish? Fine, I guess I can show you. You need a fishing rod in order to fish. You can purchase one from Amelia at the local shop. Uh, shop. I know, I totally missed that opportunity. It's okay. It's okay. That's not what I needed. I need to go to the shop. Hmm? Come over here, Siren. I've got something to show you. Come on! Well, I was gonna go get a fishing rod, but I guess this cat has other opportunities for me. Missed opportunities! I know. I know! <laughs> another another playthrough, I suppose. So you see this board here? This is the town board. It's where locals like to post all kinds of things. However, we've recently noticed them posting concerns are very peculiar. I know this town is crawling with spirits, and I have a feeling that a lot of concerns posted here could be linked somehow. It's probably a good idea to check this board out periodically. If my hunch is correct, and of course it is, then we'll be able to find many more potential customers from our bathhouses. Cha-ching! Nyan! Oh, well. Can we shop? Oh, here's a fishing rod. Do I just pick it up? It must just be too late. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm going home. Sorry. Bye. Teach me to fish another time. You're feeling very sleepy. This is a pretty screen. Ooh, the cicada sounds. Love that. <laughs> it reminds me of Mr. Crab, but a little less greedy. Yeah. A little less greedy, a little more furry. Went fishing with Julian. Uh, sort of. I meant to buy a fishing rod. It's nyab nyabout time. You got up. Listen up. I thought of something that can help you keep straight of all the weirdness going on in Flora. I was thinking it might be a good idea to write down key information you've heard around town in your notebook. You know, stuff that's more likely related to spirits causing mischief? Here, start off by opening your backpack. Got it. Swap to the pamphlet. Okay. Pamphlet. Notebook. Pamphlet. Is that really your notebook? Are you really sure you didn't steal it from a child? Anyway, whatever. 
Oh no, the double cicada broods. It's going to be so loud. <laughs> Moby told us something about his bathtub growing strange plant, right? Try flipping over to Moby's page in the notebook. You can flip through other pages by tilting the joystick. Yeah, yeah. Moby's bath strangely covered in plants. See? When one of the locals tells you something that could be related to finding a spirit, that information will be recorded in this book. This way you don't have to remember everything that's said to you. Because, come on, let's face it, I've uh, seen bridal ca brighter candles burning. This cat, man, he's straight savage. In a rainstorm. This, this cat. Anyway. Or, anywho. Who can close a notebook when you're done by pressing Y? And it's that nice and simple. Bye. Wow, this cat. So it should have saved from me sleeping. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back in roughly five minutes. See you guys shortly.
Hello, hello. Welcome. I'm back. Sorry about it took a little bit longer than normal. My kiddo is sick. So I might cut this stream a little bit shorter than what I had intended to. My, yeah. <laughs> he's, the flu has been going around my house and he's not feeling well. So let me pop this back open. I think I might just end it here, guys. I'm sorry for the short stream tonight. I just want to make sure he's okay. He's had a really rough day and now he's sick. So I feel really bad for him. So I'm going to take care of him and, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully everyone is healthy. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, it's not, it's not a really bad one. I think it's just like a 24 hour bug. My youngest one had it and then my husband got it and now my eldest son has it. But I just want to make sure he's okay and has what he needs. So I will see you guys later. Um, and we'll, we'll, if not, if I'm sick, I'll let you know. <laughs> but but we'll go from there. Thank you for supporting me and thank you for being here with me in support of my rough day. I hope your day tomorrow goes better and you have a lovely rest of your week. But um, tomorrow we'll be playing more Spirit Teeth.